Jumbo Kids are truly brain experts because everything we do at Jumbo Kids is based on brain research. So here is a brainy idea for early years. Let us tell you how writing should be taught to preschoolers in India. Look at this. She is an average preschool teacher. Look at her children. One of them is sleeping while writing. Look at another one. She's tearing her page. Look at the third one. He's complaining. My hand is paining. And the fourth one is crying. This average preschool teacher, her children don't enjoy writing at all. Here is a Jumbo Kids teacher. Look at her children. Look how happy they are and how much they enjoy their writing experience. This is how she teaches them writing. Look! She's teaching them writing. And more writing. She's teaching them writing again. And they are writing some more. Look how they enjoy their writing. Some more writing. And they love their pencils. They are writing again. And some more writing. Can you see them writing? Well, I'm sure you must be saying that in none of these pictures the kids were writing. Yes, and yet, this is how children at Jumbo Kids write. Look at their neat handwriting. How did that happen? How do Jumbo Kids children have neat handwriting? Well, this is that average preschool teacher. When she sees children in her class, she only sees them as having eyes, ears and hands. Eyes because she says, look at me, look at me and read, read, read. Ears because she says, listen to me. And hands because she is always saying, write, write properly, write. But this Jumbo Kids teacher, when she sees children in her classroom, she sees them as having brains. Yes, four lobes and a hundred million neurons. That's how she sees little children in her class. She sees the FIDE in the children. Yes, that's the five senses based learning. We see the 3D around us all the time and we tend to ignore the 5D of the brain. These five senses are how children receive their stimulation and from the 5D the stimulation goes to the four lobes of the brain and when it goes to the four lobes learning becomes fun and forever. At Jumbo Kids everything we do is based on Mahatma Gandhi. And yes, Bande Me Tha Dam, so we decided to listen to him. And one of the most important things he said was that by imposing the alphabet on little children, we are making it difficult for them to write. He also said that let the child first learn to draw draw standing lines, sleeping lines and then let him learn to write the alphabet. If children learn to draw then they will write neat alphabets and will not scrawl alphabets. He also said children should be taught to read before they learn to write. So we listen to all this and so when we are teaching writing at Jumbo Kids we combine the 5D of the brain, that is the five senses, with the four lobes in the brain. And so the writing experience at Podar Jumbo Kids becomes fun, fantastic and forever for the little children.
Now let me show you the pictures again and let's see how all these pictures have writing involved in it. Tai Chi. Children need whole body balance to be able to sit for longer periods of time. Parachute play because it helps develop the wrist, the fingers, the elbow and the arm muscles. Then kids will never complain about hand painting. Painting, doodling and sand play. This is also a writing activity because it helps kids develop finger muscles for better grip and flow of the pencil on paper. And yes, don't forget to gift the child a pencil. After all, the pencil is going to stay with the child for life. So why don't we make a huge pomp and show and help them learn to love the pencil forever. Scissoring is an important writing activity. How? Well, how do you hold a pencil? With your two fingers and a thumb. And how do you hold a scissor? With the same two fingers and a thumb. So when children use a scissor, they are exercising the three digits required to hold a pencil. This helps them develop the tripod grape. Now, nature activities are also part of writing. You ask me how? Who well? All letters and numbers have patterns. Some have standing lines, sleeping lines, curves. And when children go out in nature to recognize similarities and differences, they also learn to recognize patterns in letters and numbers. Throwing and catching a ball. <laughs> Many mothers ask us, how does this teach writing? Well, throwing and catching a ball require two skills, eye-hand coordination and small muscle development. So if your child can catch a ball, he can definitely write well. Doesn't that make you think that the entire Indian cricket team must be having bad handwriting? Because after all, they don't catch the ball very well. Threadling beads and picking up objects with tweezers. Well, this activity is very important because it develops concentration, focus and the ability to maneuver and implement in guided movements. Spray painting is a fun activity and helps develop a child's hold while he moves the thumb. Most essential for writing skills. Origami and paper folding. Many schools ignore this activity. But writing is all about following instructions. And origami helps children listen to instructions. It also helps kids understand the use of right, left orientation. All necessary skills for writing. And yes, Jumbo Kids listened to research and did away with the monstrous red and blue lines. And we replaced them with the lovely, comfortable, convenient three lines. We also did away with the monstrous cursive handwriting. How can you expect little children to write in cursive when they are just learning to write in print? We replaced it with the lovely Marion Richardson font. So won't you be saying what an idea Sergi? Well, we will say what an idea Jumboji. So today all you parents and teachers go and gift a three-sided pencil to your child. Yes, a three-sided pencil has the best grip for little fingers. Somebody said that teaching preschoolers is not rocket science. <laughs> we say it is more than that. It is brain science. And at Jumbo Kids, we base everything on brain science. So join us in this revolution where we change the way writing is taught to preschoolers. 
Come, listen to research with us. If you want more details, you can contact us at training at podar.org.